Okay, I'm at Watch Wonderland and uh, I'm meeting here with Mason Celadon and we have the founder of Mason Celadon, so why don't you introduce yourself if you don't mind and tell us a little bit about what got you into watches and then maybe we can take a look at uh, one or two of your timepieces you have in this interesting suitcase here. Thank you to you, definitely. Uh, hi guys, my name is Benjamin Shi and I am the CEO and founder of Maison Celadon. Um, I founded Maison Celadon in 2012 six years ago, uh, with the aim of creating the most beautiful, the most individually you know, crafted Chinese luxury watches. Uh, we wanted to make beautiful watches that were not just, that would not just transmit the lovely culture of China, but also stand on its own as uh, amazing pieces of art. So let me just show you a couple of my watches. Here we have the most classic piece, the uh, Celadon Imperial. This one is the Imperial Peacock, with a lovely guilloche of a peacock. Now many people ask why we chose the, uh, the peacock as a motif. Well actually, uh, in the 1950s and 60s, lots of, lots of uh, Chinese watch factories existed and the peacock was a very often used animal because it symbolizes excellence, dignity, rank, and, and beauty in, in traditional Chinese culture. And we've got the heat blued hands, the heat blued indices, and the lovely CG18 movement uh, with the Chinese engraving at the back. It says, 实现重大使命,传承中华文明, uh, which basically translates to to create, to, to, to initiate a momentous mission in transmitting Chinese culture. Uh, this is a classic dress piece. We've got more simple uh, Dao designs, such as the Blanc de Chine uh, Plum Blossom, and we have it in Imperial Red and Midnight Blue as well. Uh, but this is the more flamboyant uh, peacock piece in Blanc de Chine. Over here we have the, we have the UFA, uh, which is one of our newer pieces. It's got a very interesting uh, hybrid leather and rubber strap in navy. Oh, I hadn't noticed that before. Can I just touch Sure, that? definitely. Yeah. So you've got a rubber back, yeah. which is good when you have a sweaty wrist, exactly. hot climate, yeah. or, so, or, or just exercising. But it's got a leather front, so it looks a little bit more sophisticated than a rubber strap. Exactly, you nailed it's it. Really new. Awesome. And it's, I've it's, never seen this before. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a one of a kind. We are the first uh, brand in the world to ever use such a strap. The leather is coated, so it's also water resistant. So you can take this entire piece diving, swimming, whatever you may choose to do. Uh, this is the Obsidian Dao. It's got a slight smoke finish, and the hands are very interesting. And a sunburst effect, I'm it's saying, got a, a white sunburst. Yeah, yeah it's a bit of a sunburst uh, sort of effect. The hands are very interesting. Uh, the hour and minute hands may be quite subtle, but it's actually the sword of King Gojian, um, whose sword was found 2,500 years after being buried, and it was in perfect uh, uh, state of preservation. So we would like our own watches to be as well made as King Gojian's sword. Uh, the second hand is the Green Dragon Crescent Moon Blade of uh, General Guan Yu from the Three Kingdoms period. And uh, you can see even though it's rather flamboyant and truly inimitable, but it's also still quite subtle. So it's a very much, uh, you could call it a dress diver, although I designed it with the purpose of being uh, wearable for almost any, any situation in life. And you can admire the beautiful case finishing with a great wall at the back. It's got a combination of uh, mirror polishing and continuous line brushing, unidirectional bezel, and the crown eight-sided is CNC finished by hand. It takes a single artisan seven days to finish the crown by hand. Really? Mm. Wow. The one I'm really the most interested in, it's kind of really calling to me, is the one you have in the middle there, the peacock. Um, the, the full color on that. That's just amazing when you explained how that was actually created. 
and the amount of work that goes into that. Absolutely, Neil. This is our flagship piece, the Celestial Bespoke. So it's actually a totally bespoke watch. You can, uh, the client can choose any sort of design for the DAO. In this case, it's my own personal watch, which I've chosen the, the design of uh, the peacocks amid the, the, the peonies. So it's a very classical Chinese uh, uh, motif uh, with the peonies, which, are, which is the national flower of China, and the peacocks, which again signify dignity and illustriousness and excellence. Uh, if you can see clearly, the gold wire that outlines the, the design are all gold, uh, gold wire, which was laid individually by hand. And the reverse, the movement, is equally impressive, if not more so. Look at the signature at the top there in the, the Chinese characters. I don't know if it picks it up so well in the light, but that's, it's a really picture pretty movement but you've got the uh, you know the gold signature that looks uh, like it's uh, in fully engraved as well definitely the yeah. gold engraving is also uh, bespoke it's custom made for myself mm -hmm. it basically is a happy birthday message to myself uh, the client can customize whatever engraving he or she would like for added significance and it's a hand wound i can see so what's the do you know the power reserve of that it is a hand wound new it's got 120 hours power reserve with oh, the cows. two escape two, <laughs> hours. two escape mons and both escape mons are free sprung mm -hmm. uh, the balance is free sprung uh, it's actually this is actually descended from a double two beyond design so it's it uses a titanium balance spring which is pretty and it's an in-house balance spring I think there are probably... That sounds super expensive, you must have some really good in-house stuff. It's pretty amazing, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think you could count the number of companies that make their own balance springs by hand, uh, in-house. Heat blue screws, of course, mm -hmm. gold chatons. Uh, with the newer movements we've got, better on glass, better finishing on the three-quarter plate. But and, it's a uh, nice, round, large exhibition case bag, which is what you really want on a nice movement. Definitely. So, it's kind of really, you know, hidden from the front, but it's just, I'm just really blown away when you just explain some of the, I mean, that power <laughs> reserve is just eating me up. I actually want one of these for myself now, which is uh, not a good thing. My wife sees this. Um, and so getting back to the front, you're also explaining between the gold um, edging, you melt glass individually piece by piece. I do, yeah. yeah. So it's a huge artisanal job. I mean, does that take, it's a very detailed design, which you probably won't pick up so well on the camera. So how long does that take? Is it like a week, a couple of weeks work for well, one I, person? I'd say it, uh, it, it it comes from an atelier. So the atelier takes roughly two months to create the entire DAO wow. from start to finish. Uh, for the Celestial Bespoke, we offer micro painting enamel, uh, mm -hmm. which is more suitable for portraits uh, or fine, very fine hair. So perhaps a portrait of your dog. Um, and this is Clazone enamel, which is uh, basically gold wire. Mm -hmm. And we also have Suto silk embroidery for the bespoke process. Uh, both enamel styles are made by uh, Grandmaster Xiong Song Tao, who is uh, possibly the finest enameler in China and uh, probably the world as well. Um, he is renowned for using finer gold wire than any of the Swiss artisans. Uh, and even many of the Swiss watch brands also uh, rather clandestinely use him, use his services. Uh, Grandmaster Xiong's grandfather was the uh, Qing Dynasty Imperial Enameler in the Forbidden City. He was the enameler for the Imperial Court. That's so, quite, quite a history there. Absolutely. So I would think somebody that popular, there's a high long turnaround time. So to get a complete watch, if somebody just order a custom one from you, this level of finish, this kind of detail. Uh, I mean, how many months would that take? I would say from start to finish, it takes three months. Uh, it depends. Because the dial is completely custom made. And there's a depend. bit of backwards and forwards. You can never judge that yeah, amount of time. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I would communicate with every single uh, client for his commission. So it's a very intimate process. Um, naturally, it's never a rush. Uh, but we would try to aim at getting the entire watch completed within three or four months at the most. Uh, they tend to be for very special occasions or, or to mark meaningful 
uh, milestones in a person's life. Mm -hmm. So they tend to be commissioned quite a fair bit before the actual date required. So it's never, it's never really a problem. Well, that's so awesome. And this is a level of sophistication I just didn't expect to see in a microbrand. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We try our best to make the finest watches uh, possible. Uh, not just not just the finest Chinese watches, not the, just the finest microbrand watches, but simply the finest watches. Uh, we never cost cut in any way, and we we just simply try to outdo ourselves at every juncture. It's a really stunning piece. So appreciate Thank you, you very showing, much, you. Thank and we're uh, having a lot of fun here. So now I'm going to enjoy a beer, which uh, I'll drink, and think of everyone back in the Kickstarter Watches group. No, who am I kidding? I'm going to be browsing the store and having fun drinking beer. So I'll see you guys later.